Funding for this program provided in part by Comcast. She won a thousand science fairs as a girl Said I'll get my PhD, gonna change the world One night she saw a pageant on the TV screen Said I can wear an evening gown, I'll try that scene Erica, Dr. Erica, Dr. Erica, Dr. Erica People thought she couldn't do a pageant of science Said I'm more versatile than a kitchen appliance I'll make science cool even in the Sahara I'm teaching kids science while I wear a tiara Erica, Dr. Erica Dr. Erica, Dr. Erica. Yeah. Welcome everyone to Dr. Erica. Today's show is all about electrostatics. And here's the woman who never makes static, it's Dr. Erica. I'm having an aha moment. I'd like to start today with a question from the audience. How about you? Dr. Erica, how do you never create static? I thought everyone at least creates some static. Well, hairspray can be used for this. In addition to keeping my hair looking great, you can spray it on your body and on your clothes, and it actually prevents static. Here's a hidden camera shot from my pageant days. A little spritz on your clothes and... No more static. Electrostatics can be sticky, but hairspray can help to get rid of the stick. And it looks like you guys could really use some. Well, we've got a fantastic show today. Don't we, Don? Don? I can't do the show without Don. Are you wearing that Adam costume you were making? What's that for, anyway? Mom, Don? I told you before, I'm trying to make science fun and accessible for our audience. We've got to find Don. Your electrons fell off, Donald. They're all over my rug. In fact, I stepped on a couple of them. Hi, Mrs. Blandy. Hi, Donald's mother was my high school science teacher. I need to take Don now. I'm like totally freaking out about my poem. It'll be fine. Let's find out a little bit about the student we're going to help today. This is your mother speaking. It was freshman year science fair. Dustin Lieber had great hair, but knew next to nothing about electrostatics. I was doing laundry one day, and I pulled my sweatshirt out of the dryer, and it was just covered in lint. I needed to get lint out of my life. Dustin had done some research on electrostatics, but not enough. Hey everybody, how are we doing today? And he thought that rubbing a balloon against his head and then rubbing the balloon against the laundry would get rid of the lint. I'm gonna fix all of our lint woes. Laundry day will never be the same. <laughs> Dustin tried again and again. Come on! But nothing stuck. People I thought, you know, like cared for me, my, my friends, they, they laughed at me. <laughs> they call me these names, you know, balloon boy. I mean, they just won't let it go. His father wanted to help Dustin and sent him to us. Can we help turn young Dustin's life around? What a sad story. I know, right, Don? But I think we can help him. Yes, yes we can. Let's give a huge Dr. Erica welcome to Dustin Lieber. Hey, Dustin, how are you? I'm well. This is Dawn. Hi, Dustin. Hey, Take Dawn. a seat. So something bad happened to you recently, really bad. Yeah, my dad said I had to come on this show. What if we were to teach you the science behind the static? Turn your science fair nightmare into a dream come true. Whatever. Stay strong, son. Stay Hi, strong. Hi, Dustin's dad. Hi, Dr. Erica. Hey, Dustin. Dustin, it's me. Dustin. Dad? Come on, guys. Let's go to green screen world. Oh. All right, Dustin. So let's learn about electrostatics. We're going to start with the atom. Now, how does this relate to my project? Atoms are comprised of protons and neutrons in their center. Which is called the nucleus, right? That's right. And electrons 
which zip around mm -hmm. the nucleus. And as I remember from listening to a book on tape that I have in my car, uh, electrons are sometimes pulled from the surface of one object onto the surface of another object. That's right, like this. Wait, so electrons are actually pulled from one surface to another? That's right. So when a surface gains an electron, that surface becomes more negatively charged. More electrons, more negative charge. So more electrons, negative charge. That's right. When a surface loses an electron, it becomes positively charged. So fewer electrons, positively charged. Less, Less electrons, electrons than, than usual, usual positive, positive charge, charge right? right? <laughs> oh, Justin, we are all learning, my friend. And when it comes to charged objects, positive is attracted to negative. Well, wait, positive likes negative? That's right. Hey, we're getting an email from Tuki in New Jersey. Yes, uh, Tuki writes, so is it true that opposites attract? I'm having some dating issues and need your advice. Oh, and I like your outfit. Thanks so much, Tuki, and I totally feel your pain. It's like this. Charged atoms are like magnets. You know how some magnets pull each other together and some push apart? Atoms that have positive charges are attracted to atoms with negative charges. So yes, opposites really do attract. The flip side, though, is that two atoms that are either both positive or both negative actually push each other away or repel each other. Justin, I know you're taking all this in. I can see it. Don't be afraid of your newfound wisdom. Be one with it. Wow. I finally get it. When I rub a balloon against my hair, the balloon pulls electrons away from my hair. So more electrons in the balloon, negative charge. When I put the balloon near the lint, that negative charge pushes away the electrons on the surface of the lint. Less electrons on the lint, positive charge. Opposites attract. The negative balloon and the positive lint want to be together. It's like a crazy atomic love connection. Although I'm still not quite sure why my science fair project didn't work, I got a feeling Dr. Erica is gonna to get to that soon. Dustin's doing great, isn't he, Don? Don? Where's Don? Well, maybe it's time for his poem. Electrostatics in the home. Walk across the rug. Touch the doorknob, sparks will fly. Balloon in my head. Everybody give Don some love. Don, you know, that was, that was very expressive. Oh. Now, now, why don't you come back here for the cooking segment? All right, we're gonna do an experiment right now. So let's put our hats on. So we're gonna learn about electrostatics. We're gonna use balloons, we're gonna use felt. Wait, no, no, the balloons, no, this is like the science fair. Dustin, I know we've had our differences, but I understand. I mean, when you first saw me, you were probably like, whoa, hold up, is that Robert Pattinson from Twilight? But I'm not as confident as I look. Dustin, it'll be all right, now come here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this balloon, you're gonna make a mark on it with that pen, and you're gonna rub it on this piece of felt. Now, do you think that the balloon will stick to this piece of paper? The marked part? Right, only the marked part. The part that you rubbed against the felt is gonna have charge and is going to be sticky. That's something I learned from Dom's mom, who is a science teacher. The whole rest of the object, which has no charge on it, won't be sticky. So just the marked part of the balloon is going to be charged. <sighs> It's gonna be all right, Dustin. Okay, so if I rub the marked side of the balloon against the felt, it'll stick to the paper. It works. It's because the marked side of the balloon is the charged side of the balloon. That's absolutely right. Let's see a replay of that. So if I charge the marked side of the balloon, it'll take the lint off my hoodie. Well done, Dustin. I'm so going to impress the girls in my astronomy club. Oh yes, yes you will. You know what, I think I'm losing electrons. So does that mean you have a positive charge, Don? 
Well done, Dustin. And you know, Don's always positive to us. You know what, I I'm gonna go find some more electrons. They're dropping like flies out here. Am I getting smarter because I'm near you? I mean, my hair is nicer too. Silly. Well, all right, I think it's time to wrap up this lesson. Everybody give Dustin a huge round of applause. Thanks. You know, Dr. Erica, I thought you were nuts at first. But now, everything's different. I mean, have I known you 10 minutes or for 10 lifetimes? I mean, thanks to you, I now have a deep understanding of electrostatics. Watch out, Lind, here I come. Today you learned about where electrostatic charges come from. Atoms and electrons. And maybe, most importantly, which part of the balloon is sticky and why? I can't wait for the next science fair. I am so ready. I love you, son. Thank you, Dr. Arago. Thank you. You're very welcome. So tell us, have you had an aha moment? Yes. Yes! Who wants a